Hey guys, welcome to another Red Yeti First Look. I'm Matt, and this week we're gonna be checking out Dry Short Extreme. Dry Shore makes boot and footwear dryers that don't require any electricity. They dry things fast and they are super portable. Don't need to plug it into an outlet or anything. Today we have their Dry Shore Extreme, which is perfect for any snowboard boots, skiing boots, hiking boots. Boots, it's for boots. Boot shaped boots. I'm sure a lot of people are familiar with the electric or, you know, heated boot dryers can actually warp the footbed of your ski boots or snowboard boots, especially if you have them heat molded when you put them on and they're warm and you stomp down on them, it's gonna pretty much flatten the footbed. With Dry Shore, they completely avoid that. Obviously, there are a lot of other advantages of that, but that's kind of the biggest one between the differences of the two. It's nice to have a nice warm boot, but at what cost? On top of that, with the electric and battery powered boot dryers, you need electricity to plug it in somehow or batteries. Dry Shore, on the other hand, since it doesn't use any heat, it dries your boots perfectly without potentially warping the footbed, which is great. And obviously they're not battery or electricity operated, so you can just pretty much use them whenever. To take that even further, you don't need to worry about switching them on or off. You really just stick Dry Shore into your boots and they're good. I mean, you do have to prepare them a little bit because once they are spent and actually you know, used a few times, you do need to re-dry them. However, it's extremely easy to do so. These things are really versatile and pretty much great for anyone who really wants to take care of their ski boots or snowboard boots, which you should be doing. Those things aren't cheap. You can get way more use out of them if you actually take care of them and keep them dry. And it's more pleasant. And you don't get trench foot, which is an insane thing to even have to worry about in today's time. With Dry Shore, you don't even have to worry about it. No trench foot. It's awesome. Plus they come in different colors. Beyond snow sports, obviously they're great for hiking and they're actually pretty great for surf boots too. Especially if you're a winter surfer, then you really want to keep your boots dry. Actually, you should just always want to keep your boots dry. Putting your foot into a wet shoe or boot is kind of awful. So once you actually do use Dry Shore, you will have to reactivate it. It does have kind of a max use, but it is reusable. You can reactivate it and it's good to go after that. All you have to do to revitalize your Dry Shore is take it out of this plastic cage, throw it on a radiator, put it into direct sunlight, or you can throw it into your oven for about an hour or two at 212 Fahrenheit. You bake it and then it's good as new right after. That said, when you aren't using Dry Shore, you should keep it in the package it comes into. Um, with the way Dry Shore works, if it comes into contact with moist air, it's just gonna absorb the moist air and you're gonna be wondering why this isn't working. So you also kind of have to do take care of these and store them separately. Not a huge deal because it's easy to just stick them in a bag. Take care of your things, come on. On top of Dry Shore Extreme, Dry Shore also offers Dry Shore Active, which is basically their standard footwear version of Dry Shore. So if you have shoes that you actually wear to the mountain and then you get changed there and then you change back and then your feet are all sweaty so that it gets all over the boots, this actually could be great for them too. So you avoid two sets of gross footwear. They're all dry. It's awesome. That's it for our first look of Dry Shore Extreme. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave a comment below letting us know what you thought of this video. Give us a like. Maybe let me know that you're actually gonna dry your boots because if you don't, it's gross. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, then hit the bell notification, which is a new thing that YouTube added that you kind of have to do to actually see our videos. Our videos are pretty great. You find new gear. It's a lot of fun. I think I'm fun. That's it for now and stay tuned for another Ready Yeti First Look coming at you next week. Thank you.